So this is reversing out knee pain, ROKP. And as you can see, I'm just walking backwards, right? Um, I've got a little bit of a slant on my lawn, which is cool. And I can go backwards as well, which will give me a different effect too. Um, you can continue to do this um, and advance it even to a little bit of a jog as well, obviously being careful of your surroundings. Outside the gym, this is a great way to get the uh, reversing out knee pain. Also, things at home, um, what I've got here is a snatch strap, right? And you can easily just use this to add a little bit of weight. Now, I've got a kettlebell here because I've got kettlebells here. You don't have kettlebells. I've seen people use um, their, like, those reusable shopping bags full of things, um, water bottles, all sorts of things. But things like this, just to add a little bit of weight, there's no real rules around this as long as you can get a bit of resistance. Obviously the running will give you a bit of resistance, but you're not trying to go fast, you're just trying to go non-stop for five minutes. All right, so this will give you the same effect, like a sled, right? Just like we were doing in the gym. Um, if you're in an apartment, I guess it's a bit different. You Hopefully you've got carpet or if you don't, maybe one of those reusable shopping bags is the go. And you can just work at this, reversing out the knee pain. It's as simple as that. Walking backwards, a bit of resistance, however you choose to put that resistance on there.